In this video, we'll look at the electron geometry for NO3 minus. This is the nitrate ion. So we have a Lewis structure here. We have it in brackets because we have a charge. This is an ion. And then we have our valence electrons all distributed around the atoms. So each atom has an octet. If you need help growing the Lewis structure, there's a link in the description of this video. So we have our Lewis structure. We can see that the central nitrogen has three things attached to it. It has these three oxygen atoms. They're going to spread out as far away from each other as they can, and that'll give us the molecular geometry. So let's look at how that might happen. So the purple, that's the central nitrogen atom. We're going to add those three oxygen atoms. We have one, two, they spread out far away from each other as they possibly can. And then we have that third nitrogen with the double bond. That looks like this. So we end up with what's called a trigonal planar molecular geometry. That's the molecular geometry. And since there's no lone pairs, the electron geometry, that's trigonal planar as well. If we added lone pairs, that would really change the geometry. So if we put a lone pair here, you can see how it forces everything down. But since we don't have lone pairs, the electron geometry and the molecular geometry, trigonal planar. Back to our Lewis structure. Note that we would have resonance here. So the double bond, we could draw it here. We could put it here or here. So we would have three equivalent resonance structures. In the actual structure, that would be an average of those three resonance structures. But the molecular geometry and electron geometry for NO3 minus the nitrate ion, that's going to be trigonal planar. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.